Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we have Siege, and for the first fight, as on every single fight, we are going to cleave, because you know guys, I think we can take out two of those three units with our first round of attacks, and then it will be Theo Mars against the world, so if Theo doesn't get four turns every turn, then we are good to go. For the second one, another KBS, well actually one of the KBS is that still remain on, on G1 defenses and well, you know guys, we're going to use Giants V12 against these KBS. Now, in this siege, I think there was a full tower of this defense. I don't know if this defense is really good or not. Actually, I, I haven't seen that a lot in G1. However, we are going to take it with our usual amazing new world offense team of Bulberg, Amelia, and Skogo. And yeah, I don't think they have a chance to actually beat us. But, well, who knows? Maybe I get surprised by them. So, let's see how this went. Now against one of the most usual meta defenses right now, in G1 at least, we are going to use the usual counter, we are going to go for our two, our five twins, water twins, and we are going to use our really fast Chloe so that we buff with Chloe, and then we will take out Carcano and Vigor one by one, and then we will be three on one against the Triana. So if they don't proc a million times, things should be fairly simple here. Well, another KBS, another usual counter, we are going to buff with, with our Horus here, we are going to give attack bar with Mesa T to our Copper, our Copper will take out the Skull, and then we will repeat the process by tanking the Beer and the Kamun, and we will win most of the times, unless they have 
you know, a ton of violin sets as many defenses do. So that's pretty much it. If, if the viewer gets to defend for something and then Camus goes a couple of times and kills something, then that's the way these, these, these offense will lose. But it will be really tough because we have immunity, we have plans, we are tanky, so yeah. Well, against this former meta defense, well, we are going to use one of the usual counters, but instead of going for Tessarion or going for Fran, which are the two units that I, I run here with, with Theo and Triana, I will go with Laika this time around, because I want to try something new, and you know guys, Laika can actually hit the units through the shield with his second skill, so, you know, he will make things much easier here. However, if you do have a Tessarion, remember that your Tessarion should be faster than your Theomars, and that way your Tessa can defense break and maybe Oblivion a unit, and then Theomars can snipe that unit. So, yeah guys, there's not much I should explain here. Once we get rid of the main threat, which is Odin, then the fight is almost won. Now against one of the other meta defenses, you know, Carcano plus a Beast Rider are actually meta all the time right now, and we are going to run one of the usual counters. We are going to counter the damage based on speed of the Beast Rider with our Leo. Then we have the defense rates and slows from our lovely, lovely occult girl, and then we have the provokes from Jan. Our Jan is not on violent runes, which means that she will not be taking a million turns. However, that also means that she will not proc out of the shield, of the missability, sorry. So, yeah, things should not be too complicated here. However, they were really, really, really slow. As you could see, guys, I didn't have to push back the Beast Rider, and still my Jan moved before them, and they were on wheel runes. So, yeah, my, my third skill from Jan did absolutely nothing. So yeah, things could have been really complicated by this defense being actually tanky, but slow. So that's a nice approach to this defense. However, you know, we have, you know, a, a ton of sustain. We have vampire runes on our Leo. Our Leo is really tanky, you know, making Leo tanky and strong is fairly easy since you don't need any speed. So we should be fine. And of course, guys, we have about 100% resistance on every single unit since we have the resistance lead from Jan and we actually roomed them with resistance since they are built for this particular offense. So yeah, guys, there shouldn't be many problems by using this. And of course, it will be great for our Annabelle to be skilled up, but in this case, she is not.
and now we're facing a very interesting defense and that is interesting because they are running units that I have. That's the LD Nat 5 that I have. I do have Laura. So yeah, I never use Laura because I don't know where to use her actually. I don't have a use for her. Most of the times I, I, I don't even try. However, however, here we're trying to counter them with the RTA strat. However, I didn't keep in mind that my my regular my regular savannah doesn't have wheel runes she is on nemesis runes so yeah things could be really complicated here and that laura is on violent runes so yeah we have to get rid of the enemy savannah as fast as we can because things can be really bad for us here okay here we go procs for me and we get rid of the Laura first. Great, nice procs. Please don't proc, okay, amazing. And now we can get rid of that Laura. And this will be a one-on-one -on -one fight of Camun versus Kaki. And you know, Kaki has defense breaks, so unless Camun takes a million times, a million turns, sorry, we can actually win this. Perfect defense break and blaze loader for the win. That was a very nice fight. Now against the usual tanky defense, we are going to cleave because they don't have strippers. So by not having a strip, they can't remove the missility from my from my cat arena. So our cat can kill one unit and then the veil should get rid of the remaining two. And for the final fight of the video, we're fighting a defense that's not really meta and I haven't seen a lot here. However, you know, it may work. I actually don't know, guys. You can clip this in a ton of different ways since they are based on defense and the only sort of sustain for their threat, which the, their threat will be the, the wind panda, the only sort of sustain they have will be the Vanessa reviving. However, if you nuke the panda twice, then, you know, they are left with only Avilio and maybe a defense rake from, from the Vanessa in order to deal damage. I don't know, guys. Against this, I will totally use the Raccoonio Olivia Bulldozer since we can get rid of Vanessa first and we can tank the panda. Remember, we have 100% resistance on our on our Olivia, and of course, we have the cleanses from our Raccoonie, and we have the cleanses from Olivia herself, and we will be taking a ton of turns, and we will get rid of them one by one, and we will be and we will end up being three on one against the the Water Druid, Avilio, and you know there's not much that Avilio can do by himself against this team. Since we are really, really tanky, we have plans, we have heals, we have a ton of turn cycling. So yeah, we will win this without any problems. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and remember if you have any questions about the game, let me know in the comment section and I will be very happy to reply as always. Guys, see you all in the next one. Bye bye.